Welcome back guys, so I've got a, a bit of a haul video for you today. There's supposed to be some more packages, unfortunately they're not turned up. Uh, and I've also got a card to say that someone's not paid the right amount of postage for one, unfortunately. So it was parts for, to start the new mock, the hotel mock. It's gonna have to wait a bit longer, unfortunately, but I'll show you these because I think there's some classic stuff in here and some knockoff base plates that we were gonna use for the hotel. But I'm hoping what's inside here is my eBay order. So I'll show you these three. So we'll start with this big one because I think the small one is associated with this. Loads of tape on here. Oh. It's all filled with paper, I'll be back in a sec. Done a bit of adjusting and we've brought these two out. So we'll grab these two. Some of the pieces had fallen out into the box, but it's just full of this horrible stuff. So we'll get rid of that. So a couple of classic sets. First one is uh, 6693. Gotta be honest guys, I completely forgot what these sets are called. This is uh, obviously a refuge truck, a bin truck. Bought these primarily for the boxes and this looks to be in pretty good shape was just all loose in here unfortunately so just a bit of a tip guys if you're going to send lego to people put the pieces in a little plastic bag inside just throw them in because bits can escape and if the box had got damaged those bits would have escaped out of the box as well so put them in a plastic bag maybe put a bit of a bubble wrapper on the box but they're well protected uh, and all the pieces i'm hoping will still be there so we'll check these out and look out for a review on this one because it looks pretty awesome. I'll do a review on this one very, very soon. And the other one is light and sound police truck and it's got the plastic insert inside it. Unfortunately, uh, the light and sound system on this one doesn't work. I think the battery had leaked into the battery pack. but. Not a problem, we can rectify that. We can find replacement parts. I bought this primarily for the box. It's got the plastic insert in it. And this box looks to be pretty good condition. We have got the fire engine as well with the plastic insert into it. There'll be a very, very, very old review on that somewhere, but I'll probably dig that one out again. I wanna show this one to you. So hopefully we can get this one working and look out for a video on that one really, really soon as well. Okay, so I may have forgot to say that the, uh, the refuge truck that the bin truck didn't actually come with instructions so all being well yeah. we bought some off Bricklink so we've got the instructions now I don't think these are in too bad shape I'll check them out but they go with that we also got Just to get to the, the minimum order threshold, uh, a Lego catalog. It's a 1984 one. I love these. This one's really, really good condition. Oh, absolutely classic stuff. Got a few of these. I may just show you one of these at some point. Just go through it. Oh, look at all that stuff in there. Wow. Amazing. Amazing stuff. It's great to flick through these. It really just sort of take you back to your childhood. Some really awesome stuff. Just wanted to quickly show you this as well, right? So you can buy really cheap. They're not Lego. These are like an off brand off Amazon. Great base plates. And I use these quite a bit just for doing mocks because Lego base plates are a bit expensive. So also, I'm going to cut one of these because the base plate for the hotel is going to be one of these plus 18 studs and it fits perfectly into that section behind the, the railway station. So it'll be like a base plate and that essentially. And then it'll be four or five stories high. So that's the plan. So I don't think there's anything wrong with buying cheap base plates. It's just a base plate. You're not going to see it. It's just going to get built on. 
And these are just a good quality, they're pretty good quality, these. They really are good. Exactly the same size, 32 by 32. They're just not Lego. There we go, guys. There's my little haul. Really excited to put this one together and build this one. Always nice to keep adding these classic sets from the 80s to the collection. So look out for videos on these two. Hopefully very, very soon. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd be very grateful if you could subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys all really, really soon for another video.